Good hello my sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of a discussion video. Before we get started, I would like you guys to click the subscribe button down below. I upload every single Sunday, but if you want to get notified when I upload, make sure you click that bell icon so that you can get a notification. But even if you don't want a notification, I upload every Sunday and like this video. I would really appreciate it if you guys gave this video a like. It helps me out a lot with the algorithm, especially with discussion videos like these. They're a bit more niche, so the more likes you can give me, the more people are going to see about the beauty of an audiobook and an ebook. So as many of you guys know, I have been creating content here on BookTube for five years as of September. I started my channel in September of 2014 because I was in the last year of my university degree. I was going into journalism school and I wanted to start getting good at being on camera. And then it ended up being something that I loved and adored doing. At the time of creating this channel, I was an exclusively physical book reader kind of girl. I was in university. Every book that I read was a physical copy of the book. I still have all of my textbooks. It was just how I was. For me, there was no real other option. I only wanted to read physical books because that's what I enjoyed. And it's kind of all I knew. So that's all I read. Then some of you, and I mean a few, may remember that I posted a video in about February of 2015 where I said I was going to get an e-reader because I wanted to read indie books and self-published books and there was a whole plethora of books that I wanted to be able to read so I bought myself a Kobo e-reader which I no longer use but you know, I did use then and I listened to a lot of, or not listened, we're going to get into when I started listening to audiobooks. I read quite a few ebooks, but even at that time, I still really, really loved physical books. And I couldn't really let go of my love of physical books. And, you know, in those years of YouTube, you saw me posting a lot of hauls because I bought a lot of books. What you guys may not have noticed is that this year in 2019, I have only posted one book haul which is super unusual for me. Usually I'm always buying books, always finding books that I want to buy. My reading habits have drastically changed in 2019 for the better. I was in such a serious reading slump after I finished university and I really didn't know how to get out of that reading slump. And it was what I've done this year that really helped me get out of it. And I wanted to share with you guys my new love for audiobooks and my new love for ebooks and kind of explain how that has helped me read more this year. I've read almost 60 books this year. I'm definitely going to cross 60 by the end of this year, um, which obviously is not like over 100, but 60 is still a lot. This isn't to say that I don't love physical books. I've still bought physical books. My copy of To Be Taught If Fortunate just came in the mail. I just bought myself a copy of an audiobook or not, a, yeah, an audiobook that I read that I really loved that I want a physical copy of. But that is exactly how my reading habits have changed this year. When I started working in a city nearby to me, but not close enough to be able to drive every morning, I was commuting for about an hour and a half there and back every single day. This was in 2017. And it was during that hour and a half commute that I discovered ebooks and podcasts. I didn't really want to lug my work laptop and my actual laptop for my writing on the train and, you know, also a book. So I discovered that, hey, the iBooks app, I can literally just download a book and read the most recent Cameron Hurley. That's how I read The Stars Are Legion on my iPhone in 2017. So that was kind of how I realized, okay, I don't need my e-reader. I can just use my phone and that's fantastic. And I definitely want a Kindle at this point, but I have no problem with reading all of my e-books over my phone. So that was my real introduction to e-books. I have a whole plethora of e-books now that I absolutely love. I'm also part of Kindle Unlimited because I love romance books and I want to be able to read more of them. And Kindle Unlimited is a really great way of doing that, especially because there is so much talk about romance on booktube now finally, which I'm so excited about. I can get a lot more recommendations than I was able to in the past. So in 2017, I really learned, you know, how to love ebooks. And that was kind of like a drastic change for me. I definitely bought less books in that year, but still quite a few. And I fell in love with podcasts. And I learned that I loved listening to podcasts because it was like telling a story. But for some reason, my brain didn't understand, hey, 
an audiobook is just like a really long form podcast. It wasn't until I discovered the adventure zone near the end of 2017 that I realized, oh my god, I would probably love audiobooks. So in 2018, I dabbled a little bit. I listened to a couple of audiobooks, I subscribed to Audible, bought a few, and I really enjoyed them. And then in 2019, it was the end of 2018, I decided I'm going to subscribe to Scribd. So it's been about a year. And having Scribd has changed my reading life entirely. I love audiobooks. I get really frustrated when people say that audiobooks aren't really reading, because that's not true. It's not true whatsoever. It's not true in any way, shape, or form. I'm still reading the book. I'm just doing it while I'm at work or while I'm in the car. It has really helped me to read more, to find more books that I want to read. And there's just something about the audio medium that I absolutely adore. I never thought I would be the kind of person who really liked audiobooks. Like I never expected to be this person. And not any shame for people who loved audiobooks. I just thought I was always going to be the kind of person who loved picking up a physical copy of a book and reading through it. And I do. I do still love doing that. But there's something about reading it on my phone, the accessibility, the portability, the even if I forget my physical copy of the book, you know, you can't forget an ebook. And the fact that I can put an audiobook on while I'm working out or while I'm working on, you know, you know, editing a graphic at work, those kinds of things, it really provides me the opportunity to have reading in every part of my life. And I'm a very busy person. You guys know, even just online, I have a podcast. I also stream, which if you guys didn't know and you want more of me, I stream three times a week, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you ever wanna come hang out on stream, I would love to see you and I would love to get to know you because Twitch is an amazing way um, to like actually like communicate with me and for me to communicate with you and to like learn who you are. So if you haven't already visited my stream, I would really recommend it, but I'm a very busy girl. I work full time, I make a podcast, I do YouTube videos, I do Twitch, I write, I have friends. It's crazy, right? I'm busy, everyone's busy. And it's just so nice to be able to have a way to work reading into my everyday life versus having to sit down and crank out a book because there was a stretch there where I was commuting and you know I felt like I just didn't have the time to sit down and enjoy a book because my life was just commuting and chaos and just chaos and I've learned to balance myself a little bit better now and I think that comes with age like after school I was so overwhelmed. I didn't know how to manage my time effectively. Like I didn't know how to do anything effectively. It's so hard being a very busy person because like, it's not like I ever give myself a break. The minute I'm not busy, I'm like trying to work on something else. It's just how I am as a person. So I'm not complaining because I do enjoy being busy, but I did struggle finding balance for a little while. And this is gonna sound crazy, but audiobooks have helped fill that part of the, oh, I miss reading and I really want to read. Audiobooks have kind of helped to fill that gap so I can balance everything a lot more effectively. So here are some tips for you if you have never listened to an audiobook and you really want to get into it, but every time you've tried, you're like, oh, I don't know if I like this. First tip, the first time I listened to an audiobook, I listened to it on one time speed and I was bored. I'm a very fast reader. And when a audiobook is on one time speed, it is so slow. It is so slow in comparison to the speed that I would actually be reading at. So my first recommendation, turn it up to at least 1.25 to start and then work your way up to a faster speed. I'm currently at two times speed because that's just kind of the way my brain processes it best. I kind of hovered between 1.75 and two times speed for a little while because I liked 1.75 and then I wasn't quite used to two, but now I, if I go on 1.75, it's like way too slow. There are different speeds. Definitely change the speed. Also, sometimes, not often, but especially old books, will have multiple different versions of audiobooks. So if you're listening to something like Dracula or like Jane Austen, any sort of Jane Austen whatsoever, or like Wuthering Heights or Jane Eyre or something, there will be multiple versions of the audiobook sometimes. Um, and you'll be able to try and find different narrators. <laughs> so sometimes if you hate a narrator for an older book, you can find a different one. With a newer book, you kind of f***ed. If you don't like the uh, narrator, then 
you're screwed. Whenever that happens to me, I just revert to a different version of the book, either a physical version or an ebook version, and just read it without the narration in my head, because sometimes a bad narrator can absolutely ruin an audiobook. With that being said, there have not been very many times where that has happened to me. Overall, I really enjoy the narrators that I have found for audiobooks, and also find books with like not good ratings, but find books that you would absolutely pick up in a physical version. Don't just listen to an audiobook because it's there. You know what I mean? If it seems like the kind, this is, this sounds so stupid, but basically it's saying like, don't listen to an audiobook just because it's an audiobook. Listen to an audiobook because it's the audio version of a book you already want to, want to read. I know a few people who kind of fall into the trap of like, well, this book's on script, I'll give it a shot, and then they don't enjoy it. And I'm like, well, you wouldn't have enjoyed it if it was a physical book, so why do you think you would enjoy it as an audiobook simply because it was an audiobook? Still read to the things that you would enjoy, just listen to them. <laughs> and if you have trouble following along in the audiobook, to get used to it, grab a book that you already have on your shelf, get the audiobook for it, and then follow along. Follow along the physical version with the audio version, and that will help you kind of create that connection. I know a few people who have had struggles with that as well, and when they've followed along a few times, they have an easier time the next times. Now we're gonna go through the apps that I have. I have quite a few apps. I have a whole section called books. So you will see quite a few ebook ones right here. I've got the Kobo and the Kindle, and then I've got the Overdrive. I've got the Indigo app for when I wanna buy books. And then I have some audiobook ones. So I have Audible and Scribd, which are obviously audiobook ones. Audible is a monthly fee and you get one book per month. Scribd is a monthly fee and it's kind of like Netflix for audiobooks and ebooks. And then I also have Libby. Libby is a book, it's it's an app kind of, I was looking for Lee Bardugo, don't judge me, I love her so much. Um, I wanted to see if Ninth House was on anything but Audible, because I will only get Audible exclusives on Audible. I won't ever get something that I could get on something else. So Libby is a an app that's kind of created by Overdrive, specifically for ebooks and audiobooks. I personally like the interface of Libby better than I like the interface of Overdrive. If you have an, uh, if you have a library card or you know a library access whatsoever, your library will likely have access to Libby and to Overdrive. So I would definitely recommend signing up for that. Then I have Goodreads and the Apple Books app, which is where I have a lot of my. Um, ebooks and then I also have the webtoon app because Lore Olympus is life. So I have quite a few apps for this purpose. It's definitely a plethora. You don't have to have that many, but I like to have the options. I've got all my Kindle books for my Kindle Unlimited. I've got the ebooks that I bought a couple of years ago when I used the books app a lot. So there's definitely a lot of options depending on what kind of phone you have, depending on what you would like to use, depending on what your budget is like as well. Thankfully, I can afford a monthly fee for Audible and for Scribd, but not everybody can do that. And also supporting your local libraries like Libby by using Libby and Overdrive, you know, it helps them. It helps to keep them going. And, you know, if you can get the audiobook on Libby, why would you get it on Audible? So if you're looking to get into Audible, usually my recommendation is only buy Audible exclusives on Audible and then try to get your audiobooks somewhere else if they aren't Audible exclusives. Um, because those, those do exist and that is why I do have Audible. Anyways, I just kind of wanted to discuss why I've been loving audiobooks so much. Like, you know, it's probably a huge, like, drastic difference from previous years of my reading, especially for you guys, because, like, I would never read audiobooks. I would never read audiobooks ever, and now I love them, and I talk about them all the time, and, you know, listening to audiobooks has really changed the way I read. I still read physical books, I still read ebooks, but I read so many audiobooks now, and I just really love them, and I kind of wanted to let everyone know that, like, you're allowed to try audiobooks, you don't have to feel like you're not reading if you're reading audiobooks. I personally love them. Give them a shot, give them a try. They are some of my favorite things to read nowadays. It's just such an easy thing to work into your everyday life. Like you're doing chores and you listen to an audiobook. It's awesome. It's a way to distract from the shittiness of doing chores. Like 
it's just fantastic. So I kind of just wanted to discuss it. I wasn't sure what I wanted to talk about on video today. And then it kind of hit me as soon as I sit down. I was like, why don't I just talk about how much I've been loving audiobooks? So I want to know in the comments down below, are you guys a fan of audiobooks? Do you listen to audiobooks? Can you not get into audiobooks? and why. Why do you like them? Why don't you like them? What are your thoughts on them? Let me know in the comments down below. I really want to know everyone's perspective on this. I find it fascinating. Everyone's different kind of thoughts on it. Anyways, that is everything from me today. Don't forget, I did mention it earlier, I do stream on Twitch. It is twitch.tv slash Victoria Shaz. I stream three times a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Fridays at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I also have a podcast about geek and gaming culture with my friend Zephod. It is the Geek Digest on everything. I would love it if you guys listened. And that's enough promo. Not going to shove anything more in your face. I love you guys so much. One more thing. Don't forget I have all my social media linked in the down bar so you can follow me there if you would like. I hope you have a wonderful morning, noon, night, day, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Bye guys.